Hi, in this video I'm gonna discuss about the metabolism of carbohydrate specifically in the liver. As we know the liver plays its role in controlling carbohydrate metabolism by maintaining what glucose concentration uh, which will be in the normal range. That's the play of the liver. Normal range is around uh, 140 mg to uh, 140 mg per deciliter which is approximately 7.8 millimole per liter and this is achieved by the regulatory system of the enzymes like uh, salivary amylase, maltase, sacrase, lactase and also the kinase regulating either glucose breakdown or synthesis in hepatocytes. Hepatocytes which is the liver cell, main liver cells and uh, consumption of food excess glucose can be stored within the liver as in the form of the glycogen and uh, which is stimulated by the insulin release and the liver converts amino acid lactate pyruvate glycerol into what form glucose form via the process of the gluconeogenesis and uh, gluconeogenesis is stimulated by the cortisol and the glycogen and inhibited by the what insulin main metabolic form of the carbohydrate is what glucose that's the metabolic form mainly and only 100, uh, 10 gram of glucose present in blood plasma and 300 gram are present in liver in the form of glycogen. Next is the various pathways and their significance. First is the glycogenesis and the uh, glycogenolysis where the uh, glycogen is formed from the glucose. Next is the in, uh, glycogenolysis or generation of the glucose from non carbohydrate substances. Okay, and uh, then we get the glycolysis process glycolysis, Krebs cycle, and oxidative phosphorylation, where the uh, glucose converts to pyruvate, uh, pyruvate and then it converts to acetyl coenzyme, A, where acetyl coenzyme is used for the energy production and uh, then is the pentose phosphate pathway where the formation of the NADPH uh, ribosynthesis and the also the pentose sugar is formed and next is the metabolism of the fructose where the uh, fructose convert is into the fructose 6 phosphate by the enzyme hexokinase and that uh, product will further convert into glycolytic pathway then we uh, it is about the metabolism of the galactose where the galactose convert to galactose one phosphate mm, uh, and then it convert to glucose one phosphate and finally we get uh, the glucose six phosphate and then mm, the main product is the glucose where it can uh, give the atp is the energy okay we will get from the atp and last is the synthesis of the galactose mannose uh, silic acid glucuronic acid and the amino sugars where the galactose is hydrolyzed by the what lactose and the beta galactosidase to what form galactose and the glucose here are some diagram where the uh, this is the cell membrane and that's the cell where the galactose glucose and fructose is further uh, linked with one another to form the glycogen and the glycolysis process where the mm, uh, galactose combined with the ATP then it formed the galactose one phosphate and further it formed uridine diphosphate and then form uridine diphosphate glucose where it uh, mainly produce uh, glucogen glycogen and glucose where it produces glucose 6 phosphate and fructose produce fructose 6 phosphate and finally it goes into the like, glycolysis process okay they all are interlinked in the cell and in this diagram where uh, uh, in the case of a physical work in the muscle they are from amino acid lactate means uh, lactate production will increase and the muscle pain will feel and after a lactate will produce the uh, they goes into the liver and fatty acid glycerol will form and also the uh, where the brain uh, brain help in the neuron mediator 
uh, to increase or decrease uh, the insulin production of the pancreas which is the endocrine gland if uh, uh, there is need in the cell then insulin production need uh, energy needed in the cell then increasing uh, insulin production will increase and also in the liver there will be the process of glycogen synthesis we know and the lipogenesis will uh, increase okay next is the disturbances of carbohydrate metabolism as we know uh, the metabolism of the carbohydrate uh, galactose fructose and glucose is linked through interaction between the defined enzymatic pathway okay uh, the disorder that affects this pathway have may symptoms ranging from uh, mild to the severe cases and the uh, clinical conversions uh, features like hypoglycemia or low blood sugar we will able to see uh, liver enlargement and the muscle pain of the patient and derangement in carbohydrate metabolism cause the uh, diabetic mm, uh, diabetic ketogenesis where the increased amount of ketone in the body and the hyperosmolar uh, coma where high blood sugar level we will able to see and uh, hypoglycemia low blood sugar and all affect the central nervous system okay next is the diabetes mellitus where the metabolic disease that cause high blood sugar in the case of diabetes mellitus we will see high blood sugar uh, where the hormone moves sugar from the blood into the liver uh, and to the stool or for which is used for energy and in diabetic body either uh, does not make enough insulin or cannot effectively use the insulin it does make so the high blood sugar from diabetes can damage nerve eyes kidneys and other organs here in the picture in case when blood sugar raises and when low blood sugar if there is blood sugar raises then uh, it promotes insulin release to the pancreas then the pancreas uh, will cause uh, stim uh, stimulate glycogen where synthesis breakdown of the glycogen no it uh, uh, cause stimulate formation yeah then the, the liver where they if there is high blood sugar then the uh, glucose will convert to the glycogen okay and uh, if there is low blood sugar then pancreas will stimulate and it stimulate glycogen glucose uptake from blood and transfer to the tissues that's how they interlink and uh, there we get the galactosemia where the metabolic disorder of the galactose we see uh, in case of infants with the disorder it develops uh, lethargy uh, lethargy means the low energy uh, jaundice progressive liver dysfunction intellectual disability kidney disease and weight loss cataract develops if the diet remain galactose rich okay and um, hereditary factors interline hfi is caused by the deficiency of the what enzyme liver enzyme name the fructose one phosphate aldolase and symptoms we'll able to see the uh, weight gain vomiting hypoglycemia liver dysfunction and kidney defects and there is another disease called fructose one six diphosphate deficiency uh, which is associated with the impaired ability to form gl glucose from the other substance means the gluconeogenesis is inhibited and the symptoms includes the hypoglycemia intolerance to fasting means the mm, uh, above normal ranging during fasting means uh, the concentration of the glucose is above the normal range and the enlargement of the liver the uh, last one is the glycogen storage disorder uh, means uh, it's responsible for the glycogen degradation if there is glycogen degradation or block then the glucose remain in the liver or muscles uh, mainly the enzyme is affected and this condition may affect uh, liver muscles or both of them okay that's all about the carbohydrate metabolism